Many Muslims claim Islam is the religion of true monotheism, saying they pray to Allah alone, but are these things true? In a recent video by a new convert to Islam, the Rumble influencer Sneeko even went so far as to say, It's weird, it doesn't make sense to me to pray to a man. I don't want to submit to a man. The only person that we should submit to and that we should pray to should be the one creator of the universe, which is Allah. In response, my friend John McCray of What Do You Mean pointed out, According to the Quran, Sneeko is actually commanded to submit to Muhammad, who's a man. However, when Sneeko reacted to John's video, he doubled down and said, yeah, But you don't, you don't pray to Muhammad, peace be upon him. And shortly after, continued distress. And everybody in the chat, yeah, bro, like, you don't pray to Muhammad. That's the whole point. That's the whole, peace be upon him. Like, you don't, of course we love him, but it's just that simple. Despite Sneeko's claims, though, in Islam, it isn't that simple. Sure, in the Quran it says in Surah 26, Ayah 213, So do not invoke with Allah another deity and thus be among the punished. But according to the most trusted Islamic sources, Muhammad actually commanded his followers to pray to him as well. Sahih al-Bukhari 831 narrated Shaqiq bin Salma. Abdullah said, Whenever we prayed behind the Prophet, we used to recite in sitting, Peace be on Gabriel, Michael, peace be on so-and-so. Once Allah's apostle looked back at us and said, Allah himself is Asalam, peace. And if any one of you prays, then he should say, all the compliments, prayers, and good things are due to Allah. Peace be on you, O Prophet, and Allah's mercy and blessings be on you. Peace be on us and the true pious slaves of Allah. Just so there's no misunderstanding here, this verse shows Muhammad commanded Muslims to pray to Muhammad in their prayers to Allah. This isn't just a simple, peace be upon him, comment made in a casual conversation talking about Muhammad, although that's sketchy as well. This is far worse. It's a direct address to Muhammad in each prayer. That's concerning to me. To those of you watching, is that concerning to you? Either way, we also know Sunan Ibn Majah 1385. It was narrated from Uthman bin Hanif that a blind man came to the Prophet and said, Pray to Allah to heal me. He said, If you wish to store your reward for the hereafter, that is better. Or if you wish, I will supplicate for you. He said, Supplicate. So he told him to perform ablution and do it well, and to pray to Raqqa, and to say this supplication. O oh Allah, I ask of you and I turn my face to you by virtue of the intercession of Muhammad the Prophet of Mercy. O oh Muhammad, I have turned to my Lord by virtue of your intercession concerning this need of mine, so that it may be met. O oh Allah, accept this intercession concerning me. In other sources, included is, The Prophet, Allah bless him and give him peace, added, And if there is some need, do the same. This commands future Muslims to repeat this prayer to Muhammad. We see this line in addition to other variations of the Hadith quoted in the Reliance of the Traveler. We also know this Hadith is recorded by many, many others, including these on screen, making this an undoubtedly Mutawatir Hadith. Yet this Hadith is horrific. Muhammad again commanded his followers to pray to him, this time adding to do so whenever there is a need. This wasn't merely asking a friend to pray for needs. This was praying to Allah and talking to Allah and then talking to Muhammad in the middle of the prayer and then switching back to talking to Allah. That is complete shirk and Muhammad commanded it. Reliance of the Traveler also records and reflects on the Hadith following that one. The Hadith of the Man in Need. Moreover, Tabarani in his Al-Mujam Asagar reports a Hadith from Uthman ibn Hanif that a man repeatedly visited Uthman ibn Affan, Allah be well pleased with him, concerning something he needed, but Uthman paid no attention to him or his need. The man met ibn Hanif and complained to him about the matter. This being after the death of the Prophet, Allah bless him and give him peace, and after the caliphs of Abu Bakr and Umar. So Uthman ibn Hanif, who was one of the companions who collected hadith and were learned in the religion of Allah, said, Go to the place of ablution and perform ablution, wudu, then come to the mosque, perform two rakas of prayer therein, and say, O oh Allah, I ask you and turn to you through our Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet of Mercy. O oh Muhammad, I turn through you to my Lord, that he may fulfill my need, and mention your need. So as we see, this hadith shows in Islam, it's advocated to continue prayers to Muhammad even after his death. Muslims, if this doesn't bother you, 
It really, really should. You're associating partners with the law in direct violation of the Quranic commandments. Pray about this, please. And not to Muhammad, but to God. May he guide you away from the false prophet Muhammad and into the light of the truth and the knowledge of Jesus Christ, the only man we should ever pray to because he wasn't a mere man and isn't. He is God incarnate himself. But for more proof on that, make sure to check out my playlist, Who's the True God? And if you want to see more about the power and importance of prayer, stick around to the end screen and click on the video. But until then, let's go ahead and close together in prayer. God, thank you that you alone are worthy of our prayers and our praise. May we elevate no one else to you. No idols, no false gods, not ourselves, not our own selfish desires. But God, may we recognize you, the true God, as Lord and pray to you, seek your guidance and your ways. May you show us the truth in these matters. And God, when we don't understand, please guide us in the directions we need to go to better comprehend what you're trying to show us. May you be glorified in everything we do. May your will be done in your glorious, precious name, Yahweh, in you the Father, you the Son, and in you the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for seeking and sharing truth together with me today. And make sure to check out these videos and subscribe for more. God bless.